Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zotar Gardens. I get a lot of questions on my Kadota fig and pruning methods or propagation or how I thin the fruit, etc. So before I finished pruning, as you can see here, I wanted to do a quick little demonstration on how I propagate it by cuttings. So what I like to do, first I like to make big cuts here, you can see. Don't be afraid to make big cuts. So there's the premise of this is, or the idea, is you could see the Kadota started doing this long ago, and I had to cut it back hard right over there. Started doing this. So I cut it back hard, and it kept on leaning this direction. So I'm pruning all branches that are coming out in this direction out. So now it's only going to grow that way. And that way it leaves me a lot of room to walk through. So when I prune it, I like to select the straightest ones I can. This is pretty straight. I take off almost all the leaves except the top ones. And of course, remove the leftover figs or the figs for next year. That's what these are. And then I put it into water. Now I got to take off this fig right here. Then I put it into water, let it soak in. Every node, including this one right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and more on the back. Every node will sprout roots once you put it in the ground. So these are going to get dug in pretty much right to my thumb. So all that's going to be dug in to the soil. Don't just put the first few nodes underground, put a whole bunch. So as you can see right here, there's going to be a whole bunch of cuttings I can make propagations from, but where am I going to put them all? I guess I could give a lot of them away, but I'm going to probably select 10 in the bucket bury them hopefully about three to four maybe even five survive and i'm gonna plant them in the front i'm getting tired of mowing a lawn i rather eat instead of working in my yard i rather eat from my yard and as you can see i'm pruning the apples as well figs are very easy to propagate extremely easy and not many insects want to attack it because of the the film that comes out of the leaf or the cut or the unripe fruit pretty much will dissolve that little insect that's trying to attack it. So it's a really easy going, but here in Central California, Zone 9B, it grows like a weed. We're lucky because I love figs. Happy gardening, everyone.